Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to how to find the response on an undamped system to a square. Ready? I guess I wasn't ready. Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to show you what happens when a single square wave input is put onto an undamped system. Now, the undamped system equation is right here. It's y double prime plus 2y. How do we know that it's undamped? Because it's missing the middle term. The middle term is usually the damping term. And notice it's no longer a homogeneous equation. It's not set equal to 0. It's set equal to some response. And the response is right here. It's a simple square wave. It starts at t equals 0 with a step function. And then after one second has elapsed, you subtract the step function at t equal 1 so that it then is 0 afterwards and this is the result of that particular input. Notice that the initial conditions of the function at 0 is 0 and of the first derivative is also equal to 0. So let's go ahead and take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. Let's see what we get. The Laplace transform of y double prime is equal to s square times the Laplace transform of the function minus s times the function evaluated at 0 minus the derivative of the function evaluated 0. This is the Laplace transform of the first term right here. Plus 2 times the Laplace transform of the function. I guess I didn't need brackets around that, but I'm accustomed to always write brackets when we have a coefficient in front of it. And that equals the Laplace transform of the right side. Now, since r is equal to this, the Laplace transform would be 1 over s minus 1 over s times the shift of 1, which would be e to the minus 1s or e to the minus s. So that's the Laplace transform of the driving function, which is simply a square wave for one second. Now, simplifying that, realizing that these two terms are equal to 0, we end up with s squared r. I can already factor in l sub y, so I shouldn't say l sub y, the Laplace transform of the function y times, we have an s squared, and we have a plus 2 here. And that is equal to 1 over, and I can write over single denominator, 1 minus e to the minus s over s. The next thing is I'm going to divide both sides by s squared plus 2, so we end up with the Laplace transform of y is equal to 1 minus e to the minus s divided by s times s squared plus 2. And then to make it easier, we're going to separate those two. We're going to write them as 1 over s times s squared plus 2 and minus 1 over s times s squared plus 2 times e to the minus s. So now, if we call this the transfer function, if we let f sub s, or f of s, is equal to 1 over s times s squared plus 2, and we want to try to take the inverse Laplace transform of that, we're going to rewrite this as a over s plus b s plus c over s squared plus 2. Now we're going to find the values for a, b, and c so that we can find the inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function. And of course, then we're also going to have to add the e to the minus a s later. That's simply a shift in the s domain, and we know how to handle that in the time domain. So first of all, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator, which means that 1 is equal to a times the remaining of the denominator, which is s squared plus 2, plus b s plus c multiplied times s. Simplifying that a little bit more, we have 1 is equal to, we have a s squared plus b s squared. So we end up with a plus b times s squared plus c times x, c times s, I should say, c times s, and plus 2a. From this, we can see that c must equal 0 because there's no s term on the left side, so we can say that c is equal to 0. We can also say that 2a must equal 1, so 2a must equal 1, which means that a is equal to 1 half, 
So now we know the values for C and for A. And then we can also say that A plus B must equal 0 because there's no S squared term here. A plus B equals 0, which means that B is equal to minus A, which means it's equal to minus 1 half. So now we have the values for A and B. So the transfer function can now be written as A, which is 1 half, divided by S, minus minus 1 half S over S squared plus 2. We don't want the negative here because I already took care of it there. So there we go. Now we're good to go. Now we're going to take the inverse Laplace transform of the transfer function. And we can factor out 1 half, which means that the Laplace transform, which means f of s, which is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of, oh, that should be f of t, of course, f of s, like that, is equal to, well, when we take out a 1 half, we can write 1 half times u of t times 1 minus, now here notice that this, if you don't look at the 1 half, that looks like the um, transfer function of the cosine, if we let omega squared equals 2, or omega therefore is equal to the square root of 2, which means that this is equal to the cosine of the square root of 2 times t. So this is the transfer, this is the time domain function of this transfer function right here. Now notice that the transfer function appears again over here, but we do have to take into account the e to the minus as. In other words, the full function now, y of t, y of t, will be equal to this right here, which is equal to 1 half times u of t times 1 minus the cosine of the square root of 2t minus the inverse Laplace transform of this, which would be the same thing here, except because of the e to the minus as, we have to take care of that shift here in the time domain. This becomes t minus 1 instead of t because e to the minus as there. And we also know that this takes place because of the end right here. We have to put in minus 1 half times u of b, which is 1 of t, times... 1 minus the cosine of the square root of 2 times t minus 1. And that will be the response of an undamped system to a single square wave. So this is on the onset at time equals 0. This is a step function at time equals 0 becomes 1. And then here at time equals 1, we have to subtract from that this remaining response like that. And that is the total response of the, the undamped system to that single square wave. You can see again how the Laplace transform makes it so nice and easy, well, relatively easy, it takes a little bit of, of work to get a nice response on a simple system like this. And that's how it's done.